You saved us. Thank you. Thank you, Love President you. Trump, for saving America. You sure are one, sir. Wow. I just said, how long have you two been together? I figured they'd say, you know, we're married. He met her at the rally in Colorado. Can you believe this? Do you believe it? Man, did he get lucky. You know, he's not just a president. He's a matchmaker. <laughs> So, was that a debate or what? <laughs> Here's my favorite moment. I think there's Bloomberg's under there somewhere. So let's recap. All right, first there's Mini Mike. Mini Mike, no boxes. We call him no boxes. Mini Mike, Mini Mike. No boxes, we call him no boxes. And I hear he's getting pounded tonight. You know he's in a debate. I hear they're pounding him. He's right. Mr. Magoo got pounded like a dandelion in a hailstorm. Take a look. A billionaire who calls women fat broads and horse-faced lesbians. And no, I'm not talking about Donald Trump. I'm talking about Mayor Bloomberg. He had to stop and frisk, throwing up close to five million young black men up against the wall. We are sick and tired of billionaires like Mr. Bloomberg seeing huge expansions of their wealth while a half a million people sleep out on the street tonight. We have a very few non-disclosure agreements. Uh, how many Let is me there? finish. How many is there? He should have just said, only Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> Instead, he looked like Thurston Howell III at an Antifa rally. He got passed around like a porno in a frat house. <laughs> you know how bad he did? The Hindenburg call to offer condolences. <laughs> Bottom line, you know, Bloomberg made a fool out of himself that night. Bloomberg made a fool out of himself last night. He choked. He's another one. He's going, oh, 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 I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Don't ask me the question. You know, and you got to hand it to Pocahontas. She, she took Bloomberg out like a school marm version of John Wick and became Bernie's henchman, a sadistic Robin to the Bolshevik Batman. Maybe she is part Native American because that felt like little bighorn. <laughs> then there's Joe, a.k.a. Jan Brady. <laughs> Instantly becomes forgotten when other people are in the room. He really is the candy at Halloween that no one eats. You know, the Necco wafers, the circus peanuts, the black good and plenties. Am I aging myself? <laughs> Am I being too hard on you, Joe? And now, Joe Biden on comebacks. Look, man, history's filled with great comebacks. Alexander Hamilton? He had a rough time in that duel. But he lived to tell about it. That's right. Jack Dawson, he went down with the Titanic. But look what happened to him. Lived a long life, became king of France. Yeah. Old Yeller, he fought that wolf, got rabies. Now he's the face of Meow Mix. Tell you what else is coming back. The mullet. Good do. Business up front, party in my pants. Anyway, Joe was lucky by being forgotten, standing on the stage like Bruce Willis in The Sixth Sense. He was already dead, he just didn't know it. So why kick him? Let's ask him. And now, Joe Biden on Michael Bloomberg. Look, you can't buy an election. I know I've tried. I've been to all the sites. QVC, Etsy, Hot Topic, no elections on sale there. I even tried that Amazon. Yeah, got lost in the Rainforest Cafe. Great beef lava nachos, though. You gotta wonder how they get that cow to the top of the volcano. Text Joe to Joe versus the volcano dot org dot edu dot come on man 
Then there was Amy versus Mayor Pete, the gunfight at the Glee Club. I wish everyone is, was as perfect as you, Pete. You have not been in the arena doing that work. You've memorized a bunch of talking points and a bunch of things. Ooh, wow. Does Betty hate Jughead or what? <laughs> I can't play her. Mayor Pete is that annoying guy at trivia night who keeps telling everyone his IQ and yet he always still loses. <laughs> then Bernie. What a sad lesson when a capitalist and socialist are on the same stage and it's the capitalist who gets thrown under it. And the socialist skates one step closer to the nomination where he can spread his bitter hatred for achievement all around. It isn't that what socialism really is. It's not about spreading wealth, but spreading misery driven by envy which Bernie has a limitless supply. But Bernie, Bernie won the debate because everyone went for the billionaire. Sanders is like the scrawniest piece of chicken in the bucket. <laughs> everyone gets eaten before him. And then that grisly chunk of poultry ends up with a Democratic nomination. I don't know about you, but I think it's foul. <laughs> don't clap. Don't clap for that. That's terrible. <laughs> So the debate became a lifeboat that seats only five, but six wanted in. And before you decide to throw that six person out, you need mob energy to overcome common sense. Bloomberg was the only successful businessman there. He's employed thousands by making billions. So to destroy him, they used his identity to obliterate his achievements. No longer a success story. He's now just an old white sexist male. So skin him alive, boys. But what a contrast. Imagine if Trump was up there instead of Mini Mike. You know how different it would have played out? Sometimes you can perceive genius by its absence. And what was missing is what Trump possesses. And I think the Dems know that by now. Finally, there was this. I'm running because so many people... <laughs> What the hell was that? <laughs> Why is it that left-wing protesters always sound like poltergeists? <laughs> it's, like, it's like some screeching ghoul you conjure up in a seance with a Ouija board. <laughs> now, debates should be fractious because Trump isn't going to be kind to whoever's left. To prep for Trump, you need to be beaten by inmates with a sock full of ball bearings. Because he's the orange Godzilla. And right now, the Dems are villagers running for cover. No wonder the media reacted this way. Bloomberg was awful. The truth is Bernie Sanders is on its trajectory to be the Democratic nominee. They all agree that Bernie's the leader and Bernie will be the leader if not, if not something doesn't stop him. Listen, uh, this was a disaster. I thought it was a great night for Donald Trump. I thought it was a terrible night for the Democrats. If Bernie's allowed to win it, I think they're going to find they're in more trouble than they thought they were in. It was a big night for Sanders. I just don't see him having any shot in a general election. I'm panicked. I am absolutely panicked. <laughs> I am so happy that he's panicked. You know, I, for one, I can't wait for the next week's debate. It's on Tuesday. Here's a preview.